What's going on everyone, it's Sam Gwinnie here and welcome to my first ever tier list video. And uh, this is kind of a weird way to start a tier list video, but um, with the new Overwatch 2 announcements, we saw two brand new maps um, for Overwatch 2. And, and now we have three maps that we know is gonna be in Overwatch 2, including Toronto that we saw in 2019. So I wanted to take all these maps that we currently have in the game and in Overwatch 2 and put it in one big tier list and uh sort everything from as you can see perfect to amazing decent needs work bad and horizon lunar fuckery and that's actually what we're gonna move first is uh, horizon lunar colony straight straight to there this is a special role for horizon you know it needs to be taken care of uh in, in a special way because you know it is the, quite literally the worst map in the game every time i load up into a horizon lunar colony game in quick play half of the lobby leaves and only like like a couple people stay really so uh we're gonna start that off by putting it there and now to the rest of the tier list so first we got ayutia um is it's not really like an actual like game map uh but it does have 3v3 elimination uh some team deathmatch stuff and i believe it's like the most well-known capture the flag map I hate capture the flag. 3v3 elimination is pretty fun, but when it comes down to how the actual map looks, I'm probably just gonna put it in decent. Um, it's a uh, like it's a good 3v3 elimination map. I like uh, how how the actual map layout is, and also it's a really pretty place. Um, so I'm gonna put it in decent. Next up is Black Forest. This is also like a 3v3 map or a mystery duel. Every single time I get a 1v1 mystery duel, um, like in the arcade or something, I'm always hoping for Black Forest or Castillo, because uh, Black Forest it's so pretty and it's so freaking nice, and it's also like a really good layout for 1v1s as well. It gets the job done pretty quick. It's not too big. It's pretty damn good. I'm going to put Black Forest in Amazing. All right, so next up is Blizzard World, I'm pretty sure. And, okay, so Blizzard World is an attack payload map. I quite like attack payload maps. I feel like those are the most fair. Um, like, capturing the point and then escorting the payload afterwards. Um, Blizzard World, however, the layout is kind of flunky on some parts of the map, but otherwise, I feel like it's pretty balanced. It's just the first objective is kind of get uh, it's kind of hard to get through. Everything else is pretty easy uh, when you're on attack. But on defense, the first objective is pretty easy. Uh, but when it comes down to the, the actual map looks, I think that it's it's really really good. Um, but it's it's definitely not perfect. Um, but uh, it, you know, it's definitely not perfect, and I don't really think it's amazing either. I'm gonna put it in decent with Ayutia. All right, next up is Busan, and uh, okay. Busan, it's really cool. Like, I love control maps. Control maps are really, really good. And I feel like Busan is awesome. The only issue that I have with Busan um, is... B Busan, it's really, really fun. Especially um, the outside city area with the cow. The cow carries this map so hard. If it wasn't for the cow, it'd be decent. But since the cow is there, uh, we're putting it in amazing. I think that, honestly, Busan is a lot of fun. Especially um, Diva's mecha base. That's also a really nice map to play on with the walls going up and down. All right, next up is Castillo. Uh, I'm putting Castillo in perfect because like there is no better map for 1v1s. There's no better map for 3v3s. I think that Castillo is not only is that like a really pretty place, but I, the whole circle and everything, it's so much fun for 1v1s and stuff and ways to go around. I think it's like the most balanced 1v1 map apart from Black Forest. But yeah, Castillo is a lot of fun. I'm putting it in perfect. Next is Dorado, which is the bigger brother of Castillo. See, Dorado, it it really is a lot of fun. Like when it comes down to escort maps, Dorado is in like the top, the, the top of the top for sure. It's a lot of fun. And when we're talking about looks here, I love like the Mexican style music that plays when you first get into the map and the whole style of it, like at nighttime. Um, to and on lore wise, it's nighttime because of that power outage, I believe. Um, in the lore that went all throughout uh, Dorado and stuff and um, I think that yeah I think that it's just a really good map and that final area it's really confusing it's like this giant scientific pyramid but uh, it's a really really good map I love playing on Dorado I'm gonna put it in amazing all right next up is Eco Point Antarctica um, a lot of people actually say that this is the best 1v1 map but I respectfully disagree because I think that it's actually like too big like for 1v1s, it, it is too big because the side areas, they're just too big to go around, too many places to hide, and the 1v1s would just take too long. 
But if you're looking for a Widow 1v1, I don't think there's any other better map than Eco Plane Antarctica. But since I don't play a lot of Widow, I'm just going to put it at decent. Because at least the cinematic and the lore behind it um, with May, it's like it, it is pretty good. So, all right, next up is Eichenwald. Eichenwald is probably like one of my favorite maps of all time. The 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 lore, the the prettiness of it, the whole gameplay of it. I love Eichenwald. There's there's uh, ways for you to flank in Eichenwald. There's a good place for snipers to hang out, like Anna and Widowmaker. You know, it's really, really balanced, I feel like. And also, the first objective isn't too hard to capture, and it isn't too hard to defend. You know, it's pretty smooth sailing when you do capture it. Um, and the bridge, obviously amazing for boops if you're playing Lucio or Far and stuff. It's just a really, really fun map. And the whole, like, uh, hut that you could walk in and out of in the middle of the map works a lot for flanks a lot of fun stuff happens there and honestly Eichenwald is probably one of my favorite um capture and escort maps so i'm putting it in perfect all right next up is chateau guillard the king of eight player deathmatch maps honestly this map is just amazing like the lore wise widowmaker lived here with the overwatch operative that she killed and everything and not only does it look so pretty but it's just it's so big and I like that for eight player um, free for all maps and there's so much room to walk around in there's a basement area like depending on which heroes you're playing you can go to different parts of the map that kind of benefit you so like if you're in that basement area Doomfist is good Reaper is good if you're inside the outdoors area that's where Widowmaker is good and McCree and stuff and like also the outdoors area I guess you can play Genji there as well and Roadhog is pretty much as good anywhere on Chateau Guard. I think it's super, super fun to play on this map if you are doing deathmatch. Uh, I'm going to put it in amazing. All right, next is our first ever 2CP map. But what I will say about Hanabura is it is one of the better 2CP maps. And just like any other normal thinking Overwatch player, obviously I don't like 2CP. But with Hanabura, I really don't mind getting Hanabura in competitive compared to other 2CP maps. Um, because, you know... It doesn't really seem too hard to capture the first objective. You just got to be smart with your team, get a pick, and move in. Uh, and if you guys, you know, stay coordinated and have good callouts, then you will get through the 2CP pretty easily. And it's really not that hard to defend either. Um, and the only issue that I have with Hanamura gameplay-wise is obviously that it's 2CP, but also because the second objective is just so hard to defend sometimes. Like, I feel like the first objective is so much easier to defend than the first. Uh, but when it comes down to looks and story, Hanamura does hold the best Overwatch cinematic of all time. So uh, that's going to bump it up a bit. But honestly, I think that Hanamura is pretty decent for a 2CP map. Alright, next up is Havana. Havana is an escort map. We've all played on here before. It's it, it honestly is a lot of fun. Like Havana, not only does it look absolutely beautiful with like the different colored houses and the final area being like this sandy place. There's a lot of open areas. There's a lot of closed areas. A lot of places to flank and do you know really really cool stuff with. You know, there's a lot of room for combos and good ultimates in Havana. I think that it's a pretty balanced map. Um, and Havana like does a really good job of highlighting who the better team is in games. Um, because if you can't get past the first checkpoint, then you're just bad at attacking. If you can't defend at all, then you're just bad at defending. I, I mean, like, Havana seems pretty balanced, and it's a lot of fun to play on. So, honestly, I'm going to put it in amazing. All right, next up is Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood, it's fun. But the only issue I have with Hollywood is it, it, sometimes it feels like the defenders have somewhat of an advantage on the first objective. Because they can kind of peek out, throw stuff at your spawn, get some get some cheap old charge in there and then the first choke is just so easy to hold there's only one little doorway you can go through to flank but most heroes that you go through that door on the right uh to flank with you'll most of the time just die like if they have a brig in the back or something you will always just die so you just have to kind of brawl your way through that main choke which is really annoying but for the rest of the map it seems kind of fair uh, but the final point is like really really annoying because the spawn is right next to the point Like it's so stupid that the spawn is right in front of that final point That they could just keep on running at a spawn over and over and over again installing forever, but otherwise uh, Hollywood's like pretty decent map um, I, I'm just gonna put it in decent because it is an attack payload and I do like those style of maps. All right next up is Ilios 
when it comes down to Ilios, I actually have so much fun on Ilios, I'm gonna be totally honest. And it's not just because Ilios, well, like, ooh, I'm gonna play Hog and Lucio and all that. Like, yeah, it's fun to get boops. But even that, um, even the part of Ilios, I forgot exactly what it's called, but the one with the little room as the capture point. It is such a small capture point. Like, uh, uh, like it's insane. You can throw a Diva Bomb in there, and if you know that they don't have any shields or anything, they're so screwed. All the best Diva Bombs that I've seen in my games that get, like, sex tumble kills, they're really rare for Diva Bombs because so many things counter them, but that room is so small. It's just, it's, it's so amazing. Like, the only time I've seen fat Diva Bombs is in that little room. I love Ilios. Um, and for control point, I think it's actually one of the best, so I'm putting it in amazing. Alright, next up is Junkertown. This is an escort map. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be totally honest. Mikey and I don't really like Junkertown. Uh, Jack doesn't really like Junkertown. It, it's fun. Like, yeah, payload maps, they're fun. The final point to Junkertown, I think they nailed it. The final point to Junkertown, how it's connected, but there's like a U-shaped uh, turn for the payload and everything. That part is a lot of fun like that third checkpoint area but everything before that the first point and the second point to junker town is so bad like i just don't like playing on those first two parts of junker town because it just doesn't seem you know fair sometimes and also it's just not fun there's not much areas to flank around because you know like i'm a genji main i've been learning a lot of somber as well it's not fun to flank on this map and stuff and only the third checkpoint is actually fun to play on in my opinion so i'm gonna put it on needs work because i feel like i feel like junker town can be a really really good map if they change up some of the stuff and open up some new ways to go through all right next up is kanezaka now kanezaka being a deathmatch map is you know like it is really really pretty and i love the boba shop and the cat shop and the highways that you can climb onto and everything it's really fun to look at and I know I did say earlier with Chateau Guillard that I do like big deathmatch maps, but Kanezaka is way too big. Like this map is is really, really big for deathmatch. And I feel like the thing with Kanezaka is that I don't get to play on it that often because I feel like the only thing that it's actually good for is eight player free for all. And I mean, who really plays eight player free for all? It, it only, it's, for me, it only makes me rage a lot with uh, free for all. But even then, I think it's still too big of a map like gameplay wise but when it comes down to looks Kanezaka is honestly beautiful i love this map and uh, i lost my stuff when this came out like it's a really really good map um but i just think it needs some work like uh it's really really tight alleyways but it is like a really big map so I, i'm gonna put it in needs work in junker town all right next up is what i like to call the literal holy grail of overwatch maps uh king's row okay this map is honestly like chef's kiss so good Stylosa has even made points on this before. His favorite map is King's Row. Most people's maps are King's Row, okay? King's Row is just amazing. You go in there, the first the first point, it's just as easy to defend as it is to attack, in my opinion. There's good ways to go around and flank. There's a lot of smart plays and available things to do on King's Row. I like the tight alleyways, but also ways to go around and flank. There's a good amount of health packs around, and the spawn points aren't like too close or too far, except for when you're defending. When they capture it, you're, the defenders kind of spawn a whole mile away. That's my only issue with King's Row, but seriously, that map is just awesome. It looks amazing it feels amazing to play on like literally i i don't know a single person that gets king's row and complains about it it's just that good of a map i'm putting it in perfect all right next up is Li Zhang tower uh lucio mains do love this map i mean i will say like <laughs> they love booping people <laughs> same thing with farah uh but they're not just good for that i love playing wrecking ball on Li Zhang tower he's so much fun on that map pretty much i love playing reaper all of those characters uh, that are nice and close are a lot of fun on Lijong Tower. There's a, there's a lot you could do. Like it's a really really pretty map. I like control. The spawns aren't even that far away from the point which I like, um, and it's pretty easy to group up again with your team. It's a pretty fair and fun map to play on. So I'm gonna put it in amazing with Ilios here. All right, next up is another one v one or three v three map, Necropolis. Necropolis, you know. It's it is a lot of fun. I will say that like Necropolis you get it You don't really complain about it But after playing so many 3v3s and a lot of 1v1s on overwatch obviously um, Is that I've noticed that Necropolis is just too small like Necropolis is is very very small There are people's houses are like as big as Necropolis obviously not mine and I'm not rich but like bro There are mansions that are ten times the size of Necropolis like it's probably the smallest map out there I just don't like how compact it is um and that it's a big like it's an open area and there's not much to hide behind and it's a really small map so 
the three v threes and the one v ones. They end pretty quickly, but yeah, I'm gonna put it in needs work because I feel like it needs to be a bit bigger. All right, next up is Nepal. Now Nepal is another control map, and it's actually I think my favorite control map so far in the game. I feel like every time I get Nepal, I never ever complain about it because it's just so fun to play on. And Nepal Shrine in particular, the boobs you can get on that map are just hilarious. Like I've seen like Arissa's get quad kills with their freaking right clicks. And, and it's just a lot of fun to play on. Not only are the boobs great, but Nepal Village is also an amazing map to play on. I feel like it's super balanced, um, super easy. Uh, I like playing McCree. I feel like CC is really, really strong on that map which not a lot of people may like, but I mean, I don't mind it. And I definitely like Nepal. I think it's a great map and I'm going to put it in perfect. Uh, I think it's the best control. Next up is Nambani. Now, Nambani is, first off, let, let's get this straight. Nambani is a beautiful map and lore wise with the airport that you spawn in as an attacker, you see what Doomfist did to the entire place. And then as you walk through, you see banners of Efi and uh, th that's obviously being Arissa's creator and stuff. And then you push that payload. Like it it's a really, really beautiful map. The only issue I have with the money is that the first uh, objective to actually capture the payload, I feel like the defenders have a massive advantage on. They're, they have access to the top area, the back area, a main choke, the left top area, super, super easily. And they, like their mobility is super tight. They could go there really quickly. So again, with the money, you kind of just have to brawl your way through them. Um, just do more damage, I guess, uh, so that you can capture the point. But when you actually capture the payload, I feel like it's a lot of fun to play on Nabani. Uh, you can get a lot of clutch wins on that map, so I'm going to put it in amazing. Alright, I'm going to move these Overwatch 2 maps to the back here, because I'm going to save those for last. Um, but yeah, next up is Oasis. Oasis is also up there with one of my favorite controls. It's like, it it's almost up there with Nepal. Like, Nepal is just slightly better than Oasis. Oasis is just so much fun to play on. Um, but there is one map on Oasis that I actually don't really like, the one with the cars. Um, and that big pillar in the middle, it's, it's kind of irritating to play on because that big pillar ruins so much, like, space that I would prefer having. Um, but the other maps on Oasis, they're a lot of fun, and I do like them. But since, like, a third of the maps, one, like, one of them, I just I just despise. I don't really like that big pillar in the middle. Um, that map, it's not fun. But the other two were, like, a lot of fun. Like, those are amazing. Um, but because of that, I'm, I'm gonna put it in decent. Alright, next map is Paris. Now, with Paris, like... Each of these maps, they have a little bit of bad and a little bit of good and maybe a lot of good and a little bit of bad. Paris has like the biggest good and the biggest bad. Like it is probably one of, if not the prettiest map in the game, but the gameplay sucks balls. Like it is such a bad map. What even is that defender setup? You're like a whole five feet above the ground looking at the main choke where they walk through. It's such an awkward place to set up for as the defender. And then for attackers, it's even more awkward. It's either you take the staircase to go up to the right or you just kind of walk past them. It's really, really awkward to go through the first objective. And then with the second objective, you just got a ball going in circles around the map. It's just really bad. And same thing with Horizon Lunar Colony. I'm glad that this 2CP map is not in competitive. But since it's not as bad as Horizon Lunar Colony, and at least it looks pretty, I'm going to just put it in bad. Alright, next up is Petra. Petra is a, I believe, yeah, it's a free-for-all ma uh, uh, map. Uh, it, it is, like, Petra is a very, very pretty place. I do like Petra. And in the Overwatch 2 BlizzCon line thingy, it showed uh, what weather changes they could do with Petra. And the sandstorm on Petra actually looks very, very nice. But on a gameplay point, I don't like Petra. And that opinion apparently is very unpopular here. Uh, because a lot of people like Petra. But I feel like it's such a wide open area that the only people that are good are like hit scans, like Soldier and McCree and Widow. And I play a lot of Soldier and McCree, not a lot of Widow, but um, I feel like... I feel like there's not a lot of room for people like Roadhog or, you know, Reaper on that map. So I'm going to put it on needs work. Okay, so next up is Rialto, aka Red Shell's favorite map. I don't know if it's actually his favorite, but that beginning bridge, like, I think, I don't even think Red Shell could count how many boobs he's gotten as Lucio on that first bridge. And the thing with Rialto is that it's so pretty that it, it's amazing. You can actually stand on the boats and the waters and stuff. But there are two bridges to get booped on. It's just so much fun to play on Rialto. I love Rialto. Um, with the actual balances of playing on Rialto, I don't have that many issues with it. I think that it's actually a pretty fair map. 
Um, I think that it's actually a lot of fun to play on, I'll be honest. There's a lot of areas to flank around, a lot of buildings to go into. Very, very pretty place. I love the boats. I'm going to put it in a perfect in a perfect spot. I think it's my favorite escort. Next up is Route 66. Um, speaking of favorite escorts, I might have to change my mind because Route 66 is just so much fun. I mean, the whole the whole warehouse at the end, it's honestly beautiful. Where you spawn in, the whole area, like it looks like Arizona, the damn thing, with all those... Uh, desert type uh, like rocks and mountains and stuff and then there's uh, that um, and then there's like that restaurant where you saw McCreat and the reunion cinematic I think that it just looks really really pretty and not only that I feel like it plays very well there's a lot of good place to set up for in the defense part if you're a good attacker um, then you will win the game just fine but Route 66 it's so much fun to play on and I never ever complain when I get Route 66 and the startup music to that map Bro, it's just so good. I can't. I, I have to put it in perfect. I know there's just a lot of perfects, but I love Route 66. It's amazing. All right, so speak about Toxic 2CP that is somehow still in competitive, okay? Temple of Anubis is so annoying, all right? When I was talking about, like, maps where the defenders have an advantage and the attackers pretty much just have to push their way through all six players until, until like, they, they push so hard enough. Like, they have to push their way through to get to get onto that point and it's so annoying like you just got to be super brawly and do more damage than the other person you can't really go through main point because then they're going to get an easy pick on your team you just got to push right through them to get through the first objective second objective is a different story i feel like it's more balanced on the second objective but the first one is just not fun to play with at all also i feel like temple of anubis games go by way too quick for a cop game um at least for me it's either my experience with Temple of Anubis, it's either you get steamrolled or you steamroll. It's never like an actual like close game. So um, I'm just going to put it in needs work. All right, next up is Volskaya Industries. This one, just like Hanamura, is actually acceptable when it comes down to 2CP. Volskaya is genuinely <clears throat> like a fun map to play on. There's a lot of things you can do with the Symmetra Teleport, you know, going through mid. Um, it's just kind of hard to flank on that map uh, for the first objective. But for the second one, those moving... Uh, pads and the elevators it makes Volskaya a much more uh, playable experience and I feel like it's a lot more fun and sometimes you forget that it's 2CP so I'm gonna put it in oh I don't know amazing or decent this one hmm. let's see I think I think I'm gonna put it in amazing I feel like it's better than Hollywood <laughs> I mean yeah I'm gonna put it in amazing it's a, it's a pretty good 2CP uh, I feel like yeah it is better than Hanamura I feel like it's the best of the 2CP uh, glory for our Statnia. All right, next up is Watchpoint Gibraltar. Uh, one of my favorite escort maps. I love, I love this escort map in particular. Just like Havana, it's actually a lot, a lot of fun to play on. And the freaking payload is a rocket. Like it, it, it's, it's it doesn't only like look amazing. It's Overwatch headquarters and all that. But it, it is fun to play on. I will say, except for the final, the final checkpoint. It seems way too open. Kind of hard to push through. Um, but the first two points are a lot of fun to play on. Either way, watch my Gibraltar. It's a pretty balanced map. I like how it plays out, except for that last bit. So I'm just going to put it in decent. All right, now we have our Overwatch 2 maps. And the first one is Toronto, which we saw in BlizzCon 2019. It's the first ever Canadian map. Um, <clears throat> I think that it looks awesome. Like, I love the blue colors and the, and the pink uh contrasting with each other i love the snow i think it looks awesome and it's the first ever push map ever introduced uh to overwatch um and i think that yeah i think that the gameplay wise it looks pretty good out of the overwatch 2 pvp gameplay that i have seen it's always been on toronto and i think that it actually looks pretty good i do like how push looks i think it'll be a pretty balanced and fun game mode to play um, but when it comes down to looks of Toronto, I'm going to put it in amazing. I think that actually looks very nice. All right, next up we have Rome, which was announced at the Overwatch 2 BlizzCon line um, yesterday. And I will say, Rome looks amazing. Like, it looks very, very uh, fun. It's just I feel like they only showed parts of it that look amazing. It I feel like it's kind of bland because like Coliseum, we've all seen the Coliseum before. I like the architecture and all that, but... I feel like it's nothing really that new, except for the whole Coliseum thing. I feel like it's something I've seen before, but maybe I just haven't seen the rest of the map and they showed very little, but um, I haven't seen much of Rome. I'm sure there's a lot more inside the game, but yeah, I'm gonna have to see more of it, but for now I'm gonna put it in decent. And last but not least, we got New York City. 
So, <laughs> when I first saw this, if you guys saw my reaction when I uploaded it, when they said New York City, I lost my mind, okay? I love New York City, okay? I live in New York City. Everything about New York City is just amazing. It's beautiful. And when I saw the map, I was just oozing, dude. I was like actually going insane. It looked so good. And I can't wait to play on this map. It looks like it'll even be a push map, which is just... It's amazing. I, I want it so, so, so bad. I love New York, and I love how it looks. So I'm putting it in perfect. But yeah, that's going to be my tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there's probably some unpopular opinions in here. So if you disagree or agree with me, type it in the comments below. But I'm glad that we can all agree that Horizon Lunar Colony is a complete dog shit map that nobody wants to ever play on. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. God damn it, Sam, you fucking idiot!